Path to Nomad. So right now I'm out in St. Lucia. I just came from Colombia, had a great time there. But you know what I mean, that's like second home, so I'm always there. So right now I'm in St. Lucia. Um, basically this was a spur of the trip type moment. So I don't know much about the country right now, but I'm gonna get into it. So this is the Airbnb that I'm staying in. So what I'm gonna be doing here is, you see that boat out there? I'm gonna take that boat out tomorrow and we'll do some snorkeling, um, some sightseeing and some other take stuff. This crazy hike up a big behind mountain. Um, it's two hours up, two hours down. I'm definitely gonna try to do it faster than that bath. Um, they say it will like, you know, give you 10 years more of your life. So I'm definitely trying to try that. And then I'm gonna go see a waterfall. So that's the things that I'll be doing on this on. trip. So. so today I'm gonna go do this little boat ride right now. Uh, do a little snorkeling and then they'll take me around to see the whole island of St. Lucia, which is dope as shit. Um, it's what I really wanted to see. So I'll let y'all see what's going on. Let y'all take a look. waiting for the other guests right now that's the boat that uh we'll be on basically we're gonna be going around the whole island of st lucia um, it looks beautiful out here as you can see so i'm gonna do a little snorkeling then a little sightseeing and that's gonna be my day <laughs> somewhere right here um, and this community was established by the brigands the brigands they were actually slaves but they were slaves who joined the French to fight the, the British so they had a brigands camp in the community using the pito as a lookout point to oversee certain spots and locations where the British were coming in to recapture the island about the first 30 minutes we'll take us to the first bench around here the first quarter um, there we can have a water break and snap some photos if it's clear on a if it's visibility permits We can see our neighboring island south of St. Lucia, which is St. Vincent about 27 miles Also, the district of Schwazil can be seen if it's clear also from the first bench about the next 30 minutes to the second bench halfway In between we have those two rock staircase two flights of rocks So you can feel free to hold on the close by trees the rocks and also the railings very careful at the halfway if it's clear we see our neighboring island north of St. Lucia, which is Martinique it's about 21 miles north of St. Lucia. Also, the Petit Piton and Chastney Resort and the Jade Mountain can be seen if it's clear. The trail is rated moderate to strenuous, meaning the first half is the easier half, slopes gradually around the mountain, while the second half would be a little more steeper, a little more strenuous. About 30 minutes from the second bench to the third bench three quarters, there is a huge mango tree. It should be about uh, 250 to 300 years old. And the last quarter would be about 30 minutes from the third bench all the way to the peak. The trail reaches an altitude, a height of about 2,619 feet. We are starting about 600 feet already in the community. And again at the top, if it's clear, we see St. Vincent, Schwazel, Viewfort, the airport, uh, the, the, the Maria Island, the two plots of land, part of the East Coast 
tallest mountain peak, Mount Jimmy, La Dewa Resort, Hotel Chocolat, and the Sulphur Springs Mountain. So average time, it normally takes about two hours up, two hours down. The length of the trail, it's about two miles up, two miles down. So Alright, so I just got up one fourth of it. This ain't for the week, I'm telling you that now. But like I said, Pops ain't raised no bitch. Let's get it. Halfway through, drenched, tired. <laughs> Still got halfway to go. I'm so tired right now. A little bit of halfway. Jesus. Alright. I'm three quarters up. There's, there's no way that people do this for fun. Listen. Alright, let's. You ready? Let's. They say the view is worth it. I don't believe that. There's no way. So, all right, let's go. So I reached the top. How long did it take? He's about to tell me how long it takes. The average person goes in two hours. Let's see where I'm at. I'm so tired. An hour and 30 minutes. I'm telling you, right now, I will never hike again in my life. So I got done in three hours and five minutes. Whatever, y'all. Just so tired. I'm, I'm probably never gonna hike again in life, so that was my retirement party. All right, so after that hike, I am going to do, this is the mud bath, right? Right. All right, we're about to do the mud bath. Um, just to relax my body and see how things go. Oh, sorry. Gotta pay first. Thank you. All right, thank you. So I just meet you at the end or? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll just be back then. All right, thank you. All right. All right. So heading down to relax my body in the mud bath. Alright, 
I'm still a little covered in the oh, mud okay. a little bit. But they say it's that's like good to be yeah. still covered yeah. because of the minerals and stuff. So now we have a little walk, maybe about three minutes. Uh, I'll be fine. Okay. I'm relaxed now. <laughs> All right, because he knows how much that height killed me. So <laughs> just trying to take it easy, and I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we're about to walk to the waterfall. Um, we'll see how that look. I am just, I'm so beat. Now, miles away. 